Hey guys, my name is Andy Thielander and we're going to learn puck handling. Puck handling is something which takes a while to get good at. There are different stages of puck handling, so don't jump into the hard stuff if you're just learning. It goes from simple side to side to start off with, then back to front, chuck in some toe drags, then figure eights to get you transitioning properly. Then we'll learn some heads up deking, one hand deking, curling, and then finally deking backwards. Okay, so to start with, let's look at side to side. The proper way to go side to side is to cushion the puck by rotating your stick towards the ground in each direction so it doesn't flip. Remember that it's all on the wrist and not so much in your arm or foot. You know you can cushion the puck well when it doesn't sound like you're chopping wood going from side to side. Next we're going to learn back to front. Back to front isn't necessarily as it sounds. It's deking on either side of your body, basically doing a side to side with your body twisted but it looks like you're going back to front. You need to learn this in order to deke while putting your body in the way of the defender and the puck. A toe drag is when you pull the puck back using the toe of your blade. In order to toe drag, you need to push the puck up with your heel and then back down with your toe. The best way to practice this is just that. Push it up and pull it back. Toe drags are great for getting around defenders and goalies, and it takes a lot of practice to do at high speed. Figure 8 is an old school technique to learning how to dig. It combines side to side, back to front, and toe dragging all in one. To do it, you place two pucks side by side, and you basically dig around them in a figure 8 pattern. This is great for learning how to initially control the puck, but it's not very useful for the game because you need your head down while you do it. Okay, one hand deking. One hand deking is exactly like it sounds. It's just deking using one hand, the hand at the top of your stick. It's pretty hard to do it first because that arm is usually your equal. But the more you practice it, the stronger that arm will get. It's all in your wrist. Heads up or no look deking comes with practice. I make a pretty weird face when I do it because it takes a fair bit of concentration. The best way to practice no look deking isn't on the rink, because you're going to lose it quite often the first time you try it. I learned no look deking by watching TV at home and just going side to side without looking at the puck. This is just so you can learn the timing and get the feel for the puck. Curling is a technique used to quickly turn while holding the puck. To curl, you need to take your top hand and put it underneath the arm of your bottom hand. This gives you the greatest angle to curl other than doing it one handed. To do it one handed, it just takes a fair bit of practice. But once you get it, you can easily transfer into a 360 and other cooling moves. Backwards deacon is a hard thing to learn at first, but it becomes easier. First, try skating backwards while carrying the puck. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but you can quickly notice how an inline puck slows down and pulls away from you over time, so you have to keep pulling it towards yourself with each dig. So what that means is you've got to pull the puck back each time you go side to side. Okay guys, that's about it. So to recap, when you go on side to side, you want to cushion the puck properly with soft hands. Back to front, you want to stick your top hand out and put your bottom hand back. Toe drags, you don't want to lift the stick off the ground, you want to push the puck up with your heel and then back with your toe. Figure 8 to retain your move for all the above, you can practice at home. One hand, you need to flick your wrist as you do it, but make sure you stop if it hurts. No looking, you need to feel the puck, it takes a lot of practice, you just practice that at home. Curling, you wrap your top hand underneath the other, and then backwards you just pull the puck back as you dig, that's it.